Hello everyone, welcome to the next chapter of Mathematics Coordinate Geometry. Now you all must be wondering why did I start this chapter all of a sudden. Now the previous chapter which we have done is uh, simultaneous linear equations. And there is a very important uh, topic of simultaneous linear e equations that is uh, graphical solutions. And that is uh, the last, I think, the last chapter of your uh, book. So to understand that uh, graphical solution which is connected with simultaneous linear equation, you first must go through coordinate geometry. And that's why I thought that I'll start with coordinate geometry and finish this, this particular unit 8 uh, coordinate unit before I can finish the next part. So let's begin. So what is this coordinate geometry? See, you have studied coordinate geometry that is uh, Cartesian plane, the graph and everything in class 8. But many students who are with us uh, today, they might not have attended my class last year. For them, I'm going to repeat everything from basics. So please listen to me very carefully. And also those who were there in my class last year, they might have forgotten what is the concept behind coordinate geometry. For, so for them also, I'm uh, doing this chapter uh, in a detail. So please pay attention. Okay. So coordinate geometry is the branch of mathematics in which a pair of two numbers called coordinates, a pair of two numbers called coordinates is used to represent the position of a point, is used to represent the position of a point with respect to two mutually perpendicular number lines called coordinate axis. So there are two mutually perpendicular number lines with respect to these two mutually perpendicular number lines the locations or positions of a point are represented with the help of two numbers and these two numbers are called coordinates. So the geometry involving the two mutually perpendicular number lines and the pair of numbers which are used to find the location of a point in this uh, coordinate or Cartesian plane, the whole thing together is known as coordinate, coordinate geometry. The location of points comes under the heading coordinate and the relations with respect to different figures comes under the heading geometry. Together, the location of the point and their relationship with different geometrical figures is called coordinate geometry. Before we begin coordinate geometry, we should understand what are dependent and independent variables. For example, we all know that this is a linear equation in two variables 3x plus 4y is equal to 5. In this equation x and y are the variables. If a linear equation in x and y is expressed with y as the subject of the formula matlab y ko ek side rakh denge, y ko subject bana denge, then y becomes dependent variable matlab jo bhi subject of the formula hoga that will be the dependent variable and x will be independent variable. As a Q bolte pata hai? Because you put different values of x in these equations. For all the different values of x, you get different values of y. So the value of y is dependent on the value of x. That's why y is dependent variable and x is independent variable. But if the subject of formula is made x, if x is made as the subject of formula like this, like this over here, and y is in the equation, okay, y is uh, present combined with other numbers and uh, signs, operations, then x is called dependent variable and y is called independent variable. So basically, whoever is the subject of the formula is the dependent variable and whoever is not the subject of the formula is the independent variable okay now see the first question is here let's try to solve this express the equation 4x minus 5y plus 20 is equal to 0 in the form so that x is dependent dependent and y is independent and number two where y is dependent and x is independent so basically first you have to 
make x the subject of the formula then you have to make y the subject of formula so what is the equation 4x minus 5y plus 20 is equal to 0 4x minus 5y plus 20 is equal to 0 look carefully how i change the subject of the formula first i have to make x dependent equation first i have to make x dependent equation what is an x dependent equation 4x is equal to 5y minus 20 4x is equal to 5y minus 20 is an x dependent equation no it is not yet it will become x is equal to 5y minus 20 the whole divided by 4 okay so you can simplify it further if you want x is equal to 5y by 4 minus 20 20 by 4 which is 5 so either this or this is an x dependent equation and now i'm going to make it into y dependent equation y dependent equation means y is the subject of formula so see i'm going to keep 4x plus 20 on lhs and i'm going to take 5y on the other side so this will become 4x plus 20 divided by 5 is equal to y and now this will be written as 4x by 5 plus 20 by 5 is equal to y so y is equal to 4x by 5 plus 4 this is a y dependent equation y dependent means y is the dependent variable here x is the dependent variable did you understand this very easy let's go ahead the next topic is ordered pair what do you mean by an ordered pair an ordered pair means a pair of two objects taken in specific in the relation to coordinate geometry, an ordered pair means a pair of two numbers in which the order is important and necessary. So we are from beginning of the chapter, we are talking about pair of two numbers, which are coordinates. The ordered pair decides the order of these coordinates. Okay, so numbers must be written in specific order separated by a comma and enclosed in small brackets. The numbers are written in specific order separated by a comma and enclosed in small brackets. For example, these are all the ordered pairs 5, 7, minus 6, 8, 0, 0, 3, 1 by 2, minus 2, etc. In the ordered pair, the first component is A and the second component is B, right? Here, first component is 5 and second component is 7. But always remember, 5, 7 is never equal to 7, 5. Why? Because the order is important and necessary. If you change the order, even though the components remain the same, even though the components remain the same, that is, uh, a remains A, B remains B, but if you change the order, if you write A comma B as B comma A, the order ordered pair loses its meaning. It becomes a new ordered pair. But if, let's say if two ordered pairs are equal, they can be equal only if their first and second components respectively are equal. It means they can be equal only when A is equal to C and when B is equal to D. An ordered pair can have with its both components equal. That means ordered pair can be like this 5 comma 5 minus 6 comma 6 and 0 comma 0. In these kind of ordered pairs where both the components are same, if you interchange the places of both the components, nothing changes. It doesn't make any difference. Okay. Now there are few questions. I'm just going to solve here itself. Find the values of x and y if an ordered pair which is x comma 4 
which is equal to minus 7 comma y. Okay, so how to solve this? Now see, we know that ordered pair have specific meanings. This x must be equal to minus 7 y because if two ordered pairs are equal, their respective components are always equal. So x will be equal to minus 7 and what about 4? 4 will be equal to y. So y is equal to 4. Simple. We just compare the components of order, ordered pairs in their respective positions. Okay. Next one x minus 3 comma 6 and 4 comma x plus y. So <clears throat> x minus 3 will be equal to 4. x minus 3 is equal to 4. So x will become 4 plus 3 that is x is equal to 7. We got x is equal to 7. 6 will be equal to x plus y. So 6 is equal to x plus y. So 6 is equal to x is 7 plus y. 6 minus 7 is equal to y which means 6 minus 7 is minus 1 and y is equal to minus 1. So x is 7 and y is minus 1 in the second question. In the first question x is minus 7 and y is 4. Very simple. Let's check the answer. Minus 7 and 4 and 7 and minus 1. Easy ordered pair clear. Let's go to the next topic which is Cartesian plane. What is a Cartesian plane? Now those who were there, there with me in class 8, they know exactly what Cartesian plane is. This is your revision, remember. Those who don't know, please pay attention. A Cartesian or a coordinate plane, a Cartesian or a coordinate plane consists of two mutually perpendicular number lines intersecting each other at their zeros. So we have two number lines which intersect each other at zero. So first number line is over here x o x dash. This x o x dash is also known as x axis. You might have heard about this x axis. And the second number line is vertical exactly perpendicular to the x axis and passing through zero that is known as origin y o y dash what is this y axis so we have in cartesian plane we have two axis x axis and y axis which are mutually perpendicular number lines where do they intersect they intersect at zero and this zero this zero is known as origin remember this point is known as origin Okay, now if you look at the number lines carefully, when they intersect, after their intersection, these two number lines, they form a Cartesian plane. This is plane of a paper. Na? That's why it's known, it's known as Cartesian plane. Any, time, any uh, plane always consists of two dimensions. Okay, two dimensions are the length and the breadth. Here, Two dimensions are x and y. Always in a plane, there are two dimensions, x and y. So what is the meaning or what is the use of this Cartesian plane? Cartesian plane helps us find the location of any point which is situated on it. Suppose there is a point which is situated, let's say, uh, over here. So what is the location of the Cartesian uh, of this point in this Cartesian plane? Coordinate geometry helps us to find the location. Okay. Now one more definition of Cartesian plane, which is more, you can say, uh, applicable to what we are going to study. The system consisting of X axis, Y axis and the origin is also called Cartesian coordinate system. The x-axis, y-axis together are called coordinate axis. And I want you to focus on word, one word. A-X-E-S. Axis. See, what is axis? Axis is the number line. Okay. A single number line is called axis. Axis is a singular word. 
singular for a single number line but when there are two number lines when there are two axes we call it a x e s axis it is plural remember okay so both the axis and the origin together is known as cartesian coordinate system which are made up of coordinate axis now coming to our next topic and uh, you can say uh, we are slowly getting there we are slowly uh, moving towards the topic coordinates of points what is coordinates of point position of each point in a coordinate plane is determined by means of an ordered pair as i told you earlier what is the use of ordered pair ordered pairs are basically two numbers in a specific order these numbers which are there in specific order will tell you the exact location of a point in the coordinate plane with reference to the coordinate axis okay how starting from origin the measure measure the distance of the point along x axis this distance is called x coordinate or abscissa if you measure the distance of the point along x axis you are finding the x coordinate or abscissa for example i told you that here i have a point okay so how far is this point uh, if i if i start measuring from origin toward this point so let's say origin uh, is over here and i start measuring 1 2 3 4 4 this point lies exactly beneath 4 so this point is in the direction of x axis it is 4 units away from the origin in the direction of x axis this point is 4 units away from origin that means its x coordinate or abscissa is 4 units its x coordinate or abscissa is 4 units there is one more way of finding the abscissa abscissa uh, let me let me uh, get a graph for you and then explain okay so i have a graph for you over here so i was referring to this point okay this is the point i was referring to so how to find its coordinates or location so coordinates are basically two ordered pairs the first location which i am going to find is the x coordinate another name for x coordinate is abscissa x coordinate or abscissa okay now how to find abscissa what you have to do is you have to go in the direction of x axis wherever the point is located located in the direction of x axis towards that point and you have to find where exactly or how far exactly this point lies from the origin in the direction of x axis much better what you can do is you can draw two perpendicular lines to this point from both the axes so you have drawn a perpendicular line from y axis as well as x axis the perpendicular distance of this point from y axis so this is the y axis the perpendicular distance of this point is how much so this one block is one unit as you can see after every block i have written 1 2 3 4 so 1 2 3 4 bl blocks away this point is four blocks away from y axis that means its co x coordinate or abscissa is 4 similarly if you want to find its y coordinate y coordinate or ordinate the another name for y coordinate is ordinate if you want to find the y coordinate 
draw a line perpendicular to x axis now find out how far is this point from x axis so this point is 1 2 3 blocks away from x axis that means its y coordinate is 3 or its ordinate is 3 so we can say this point let's name this point as a point a is 4 units away from y axis that's why its x coordinate or abscess is 4 and its y coordinate or ordinate is 3 because it is 3 units away from x axis that is how you find the location of a point can we do one more example let's take this point now i'm not going to draw a line i just want you to answer yourself that what are the coordinates of this point okay so you can pause the video you can think about it think about it and you can answer then i will show you an easy method to find the coordinates okay done now easy method for finding coordinates of a point if you know the point if you know its location how to represent it we we know that we represent it with the help of ordered pairs which are coordinates so what are its x and y coordinates just look beneath the number if you see a perpendicular line going from that point uh, to the x-axis, that point on x-axis, look at its number. What is the number? Minus 5. So its x-coordinate is minus 5. Now look at a horizontal line which is joining that point to y-axis. Should be perpendicular to y-axis that line. Horizontal line because we have graphs so there is no issue. So the point at which uh, this line imaginary line joining this given point and the point on y-axis touching is the point 5 so here you get 5 so minus 5 comma 5 minus 5 comma 5 this point you can tell that it is point b okay point b is minus 5 comma 5 now if you draw the lines and check you will find that shall we take one more uh, example let's take this point what are the coordinates of this point now with, without without any delay you don't have to pause the video you can directly tell me the coordinates of this point are 8 comma minus 2 what about uh, let's say let's say this point the coordinates of this point are minus 3 comma minus 3 right so that's how you find out figure out the coordinates very simple so if you have a graph paper you can easily find coordinates of different points okay let's zoom in a bit okay <clears throat> So we know what are what are x and y coordinates or what is an abscess and what is an ordinate okay and how to find them how to measure them how to figure them out in start sorry this is too dark let me take a light one in stating the coordinates of a point the abscessa precedes the ordinate and both are enclosed in small bracket after being separated by a comma so if abscissa is x and ordinate is y the coordinates are bracket x comma y bracket close next quadrants what are quadrants quadrants and sign conventions let me again take you to the graph and explain because that's the best way to explain anything okay let me zoom out just a little bit Okay, I think this is enough, but yeah, this is I think perfect. Now I'm just going to remove few things from here. Okay, so our next term to understand is quadrant. What is a quadrant? So quadrant is the space between uh, two axes and it is 
वन फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ कार्टेजियन प्लेन सो कैन यू पॉइंट आउट टू दैट पार्ट ऑन योर स्क्रीन विच इज एग्जैक्टली बिटवीन टू एक्सेस एंड इट इज वन फोर्थ पार्ट ऑफ द कार्टेजियन प्लेन सो इफ यू आर थिंकिंग अबाउट दिस पार्ट यू आर राइट this is a quadrant okay the whole space the whole space this is one quadrant and the cartesian plane as i told you this is one fourth part of a cartesian plane so can you tell me can you tell me how many quadrants are there there are four quadrants how many quadrants four first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant these quadrants have specific locations this quadrant which you which you are seeing over here is the first quadrant what is the significance of the first quadrant so in the first quadrant see if you want to understand its significance just look at the numbers which are on the x and y axis in the first quadrant in the first quadrant all the x coordinates or, or or all the numbers on the x axis are positive in the sec, in the first quadrant all the numbers on, on the y axis are also positive so first quadrant has the sign convention of plus comma plus first quadrant has the sign convention of plus comma plus what about the second quadrant see i'm just going to write sign convention over here plus comma plus what about the second quadrant if you see the second quadrant this is the second quadrant okay so in order to figure out which is the first which is the second quadrant you go in anti clockwise direction so first quadrant is uh, on the right top corner the second quadrant is uh the left top corner so you go in anti clockwise direction the third quadrant is in the left bottom corner and the fourth quadrant is in the right bottom corner 1 2 3 4 so this is how it goes first second third and fourth okay the second quadrant if you see what are the uh, signs of the numbers on x axis all the numbers on x axis are negative so sign convention of second quadrant is minus comma what are the numbers what are the signs of the numbers on y axis in the second quadrant plus so the sign convention of second quadrant is minus comma plus now can you guess the sign convention of the third quadrant yes if you said minus comma minus it is absolutely correct because x and y coordinates both associated with third quadrant are negative what about the fourth quadrant plus comma minus because x coordinates are positive but y coordinates are negative right so these are the quadrants and the sign convention sign convention why the sign convention is important i'll tell you let me first write the sign convention over here you also have to take notes please remember so sign conventions are important because we need to have uh, an idea about the location of a point very quickly so if we have quadrants and if we have sign conventions of quadrant we can easily tell on which in which quadrant this point is going to lie suppose the point is minus 2 comma 3 now i know that x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive so minus 2 comma 3 is definitely going to lie in second quadrant see where is the location of minus 2 comma 3 it is over here minus 2 comma 3 so just without plotting we can understand where in which quadrant this point is going to lie suppose you have the point uh, 4 comma minus 
Now where is 4 comma minus 5 going to lie? 4 comma minus 5 is going to lie in fourth quadrant because x is positive and y is negative. x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is negative. So 4 comma minus 5. Let's see where it is. This is 4 and this is minus 5. Here you have 4 comma minus 5. Suppose we have minus 3 comma minus uh, 6. Where is this good point going to lie? Minus 3 is over here. Minus 6 is over, over here. So this is the point minus 3 comma minus 6. Correct? Like that you can find the location of any point. You can find the location of any point in the Cartesian plane. Doesn't matter if they have various different kinds of signs. We know the sign convention. So locating a point becomes very easy once you know the sign convention. Okay, so the next is uh, plotting the point. Now see, we already have talked a lot regarding plotting the points so we don't have to worry much we know we have the idea okay but still i'm just going to go through it so that there are no confusions plot the points a 4 comma 2 first we'll go point by point there is no hurry a 4 comma 2 where does this point lie so 4 comma 2 definitely seems to be lying in the first quadrant yes it is in the first quadrant it is four centimeter away sorry four units away four units away from y-axis and two units away from x-axis and it lies over here see four where is four over here where is two over here where do they intersect over here so this is the location of the point minus five comma three lies in the second quadrant where is minus five over here where is 3 over here? Where do they intersect? Over here. So this is minus 5. Minus 4 comma minus 5. This definitely lies in the third quadrant. And this is the location. And what about 5 comma minus 2? This point 5 comma minus 2 lies in the fourth quadrant over here. Very easy to locate and plot the points. Okay. These steps and all, all you don't have to write. You don't have to write. Okay. Important things are discussed over here, which are extremely important. Points on x-axis and points on y-axis and the origin. Let us go to the graph paper and understand this in a much better way. There must be a shortcut for this uh, <clears throat> zooming out. Anyways, okay, so let's make some space over here. We have uh... okay, great. Okay, so this is our Cartesian plane x axis, y axis, both the axis origin everything is here suppose there is a point let me use red ink there is a point on uh, x-axis and that point is this and what are its coordinates so if you want to find its coordinates answer a few questions how far away is this point from y-axis so y-axis is over here and this point seems three units away from y-axis that is its x-coordinate the distance of any point from y-axis is the x-coordinate remember the distance of any point from y-axis is x-coordinate it seems little mismatching right but this is the way it is how far a point is away from uh, y-axis is its x-coordinate now what is the y coordinate? Ask this question to yourself. How far away this point from x axis? That will be its y coordinate. This point is not 
far from x axis it is on the x axis so its distance from x axis is zero it is on the x axis and that's why its y coordinate will be zero let me take one more example over here can you tell me the coordinates quickly how far away is it from y axis you will say seven units i will say minus seven units whenever you are on the left side of origin on x axis all the coordinates are negative so its distance from y axis is minus 7 how far is this point away from y axis zero units because it is on the x i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry my mistake how far is this point away from x axis this point is on the x axis and that's why its distance from x axis is zero right so its y coordinate will be zero okay now it is clear one more revelation i'm giving you any point who is lying on x axis its y coordinate will always be zero you want me to repeat that any point lying on x axis its y coordinate will always be zero so now a test for you can you tell me the coordinates of this point if you are saying 8 comma 0 you are absolutely correct can you tell me the coordinates of this point if you are telling 0 comma minus 4 you are absolutely wrong it is not 0 comma minus 4 when i ask you the coordinates of this point you have to first ask yourself how far away this point is from y axis see if you don't want to answer that question if that is confusing for you what is the number you see on x axis at which this point is located minus 4 and where is it located on the x axis so its y coordinate will be 0 can you remember like that any point located on x axis has its y coordinate as 0 what about the point on y axis let's take an example let's take this as the point how far is this point from x axis 5 units okay and how far is this point from y axis 0 units so its x coordinate will be the distance of this point from y axis remember and that is 0 and its y coordinate will be its distance from x axis that is 5 remember it like this if any point is on y axis its x coordinate automatically becomes zero and y coordinate is the number at which that point is lying suppose this is the point what you will do its coordinates are 0 comma minus 2 its coordinates are 0 comma minus 2 why its coordinates are 0 comma minus 2 because it lies on y axis and it is two units away from x axis because it lies on y axis that's why its x coordinate automatically becomes zero and because it is two units away below origin its y coordinate becomes zero comma minus two simple so one thing is very clear that now you know the location of the point one point we did not discuss what is this this is origin what are the coordinates of origin origin how far is origin from x-axis it is on the x-axis how far away uh, this origin from y-axis it is on the y-axis that's why its coordinates are 0 comma 0 okay so we located the points <clears throat> now few simple questions not so difficult and then we'll be done with the first part a b c are the vertices of a rectangle what is a 3 comma 6 see they have plotted 3 comma 6 over here what is b 3 comma 2 3 comma 2 is plotted over here what is c 8 comma 2 8 comma 2 is plotted over here plot 
these points on a graph paper and then use it to find coordinates of the vertex D. So they have plotted it and they have joined it. Now uh, they said that these are the vertices of a rectangle. Uh, is it difficult to make a rectangle? Absolutely not. See, I'll just make these points 3, 6, 3, 2, 8, 2. Okay. Let me use it over here. Three comma six, three comma two, eight comma two. These are my three points. I have to complete a rectangle. Now, does it take a genius to find where the rectangle will be? Absolutely not. Just draw one line over here like this. One line over here like this. Make sure all the angles are 90 degree. One horizontal line. And one vertical line. So this is A, B, C. What are the coordinates of point D? That's what we have to find. The coordinates of point D, what is the point over here? 8. And which is the point over here? 6. 8 comma 6. Simple. Right? Did you understand this? Very easy, right? So, coordinates of point D are 8 comma 6. Next question. Find the coordinates of the point whose abscess are is the solution of the first quadrant. Hey, it should be first equation, not quadrant. This is wrong, okay? They mean absc abscissa is the solution of first equation. So basically, this first equation, if you solve, you will get the value of x, which is the abscissa. And ordinate is the solution of second equation. So if you solve the second equation, you will get the value of y, which is the coordinate the y coordinate basically so the ordered pair or the coordinates of the point are x comma y which is 4 comma 2 so solving linear equation in one variable are not a big deal for you i'm not solving it and showing it to you okay so we have completed the first part okay now we are on to our second part which is graphs not a very difficult part Okay, so what I've decided is I'm going to stop this video over here. I want you to, after watching this video, I want you to complete exercise 26A. Once you complete this exercise fully, then watch the second video, which I'm going to make after this and uh, complete the remaining exercises. So it might take a little bit of time, not a problem, but we'll go exercise by exercise. Okay, so the first part is over. Uh, watch the video properly, understand all the concepts and then start with the exercise 26A. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.